we're going to show you how to use the best bubble bags. This is the things you'll need. Notice, spoon, trim, buckets, five gallon bucket, two gallon bucket, ice. You're going to want to make it cold. You don't want to make it dirty. Add about a third in there of ice. Trim, you're going to use about three handfuls. It's going to equivalent to about three ounces. You don't want to use any more than that. And don't use crappy trim either. There's no, there's no excuse for tra crappy trim. Water, got to be really cold. This is coming from a well, 58 degrees. Always really, really cold. Never substitute warm water or any of that. No tepid water, always cold. You're gonna mix everything together. Keep it together, keep mixing it together until it turns out like a glass of sweet tea. Make sure you saturate all the leaves. Make sure you make it so all the ice and all the water and all the plant material mixes all together. And then you're gonna let it sit. You leave it sit for about 10 minutes. And uh, there it's sitting for 10 minutes. Come on. All right. We're impatient, so that's a quick 10 minutes. We're going to run this thing. You're going to want to beat it up pretty good. You can want to see froth on the top. You want to see a nice foam on top. That means you're doing it right. The reason we don't have a work bag inside of there is because we don't want you to beat it up. Because if you beat it up, we're going to have to sell you another one. I'd love to do that but you don't need to pay for that. Our bags, this set of bags that you're watching us use, we've been using for about five years. And we've never had any problems with them. Pour the whole mix into that work bag, which is strapped on a two gallon bucket. Make sure you don't get any plant matter inside of the bucket. I call this the gold bucket. Because as you look down into the bucket, you will see it looks like gold. And that is liquid gold, folks. That's not Texas tea. That's West Coast tea. Mm. Now, you throw that back into there. And then what you're going to do is when you run the red bag, which is the first catcher, we catch all of our hash with this. I don't use the other bag because all of our trichomes are larger in size. But as you notice, as we're pouring this back into that five gallon bucket, it's not touching the inside and all of that water is going right back into that mix. And we're going to turn that again, two to five times. Our bags drain a lot quicker than most people's bags, but here's, here's how we catch our our hash. We don't pull it out of the bag and scrape it out. There it is there. We don't pull it out or scrape it. Put it in your hand like this. You turn the bag inside out and you put that bag on top of a Pyrex dish. And there's the Pyrex dish right there. You go over the top, make it like a small drum and you flick it a couple times. That keeps your screens in good shape. You don't screw them up. And look at that. That's liquid gold. Call me.